So I've just broken the numbers down. Now when you do the greatest common factor, you actually take what occurs not the greatest, but the least. So you say I've got three twos here, two twos here, so I take two twos. And then I have no threes here, one three here, I take what occurs not the greatest, but the least, which is no threes. So two squared is gonna come out to four. So our greatest common factor is four. What that means, it's the largest number that goes into both eight and 12 evenly. So if you were reducing a fraction, like say if it was eight twelfths, you could divide the top by four, the bottom by four, and reduce that fraction with that greatest common factor. Now, if I do the least common multiple, I take not what occurs the least, but the most. So if I say I have got three twos, two twos, I'm gonna take the one that occurs the most. One three, no threes, I take the one that occurs the most. Two cubed is eight times three to the first, eight times three is 24.